Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on life through music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, I trust you enjoyed my last video on late 70s, early 80s icons Blondie and Debbie Harry. And through their song Heart of Glass, we looked at this concept of broken hearts and our interaction with relationships so i trust you found that one encouraging well we're going from there to one two three o'clock four o'clock rock today and of course we all know this song well most of us know this song um because this song changed rock and roll forever in fact very much it started rock and roll almost and the story began in 1925 in michigan with bill haley of course the song was sung by bill haley and the comets Interesting thing about Bill Haley was when he was a kid, he had surgery on an ear canal which accidentally severed his optic nerve in his left eye. And from that moment onwards, he was blind in his left eye. And you'll notice when you see Bill Haley, there's a bit of a hair curl over his eye. That was a bit of a distraction, a bit of a way of him dealing with that. Probably pretty traumatic event when you're a kid. But, you know, it didn't really matter for Bill Haley because certainly um, around the 1940s, he was establishing himself as a, um, a country singer. But when he put country and rhythm and blues together and, of course, the iconic um, 12 bar blues riff that well and truly catapulted rock and roll into what it is, we got rock and roll. We got rock and roll and the world was for a change because of this. Um when Bill Haley and the Comets, now when I talk about mania, mania is I've talked about the Beatles having a mania, I've talked about ABBA having a mania, the Bay City Rollers having a mania. I reckon we can put Bill Haley and Comets in mania, mania territory as well. I mean, obviously Bill Haley was in the US, but when he came over, came, came over to the UK, he changed that country forever. And I suppose in a lot of ways prepared fans for the Beatles that would come after him. So very much a pioneer in the US and the UK, bringing this such this fresh sound, this exciting sound, the sound that you just have to tap your feet to and carry it, carry it away with, and a sound that certainly encouraged young people to stand up and be counted. Children no longer seen, not seen and not heard. They were definitely seen and they definitely wanted to be heard. And certainly in the UK at the time, this was a bit of a radical change for that society. Now, a little bit more about Bill Haley and the Comets. There's been a number of musicians that have played for these guys. But in between 1956 and 1979, there were 23 studio albums, five live albums, and stacks and stacks and stacks of singles. These guys have they've sold millions and millions and millions and millions of albums and singles. Um, Rock Around the Clock was a massive seller um, for these guys as well as some of the other songs that were around at the time. Bill Halley is classed as the father of rock and roll and will always be remembered for that. And 2012, they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It was great to see that accolade because if it wasn't for Bill Halley, there wouldn't have been rock and roll. And so, you know, very well deserved right there. Now, obviously, I was born in 1965, so I was I was well and truly not in this scene at all. But all you need to do is just look at the scenes of kids dancing. You know, the whole swelling girls under you know, around your around your heads and through your legs and and all of that sort of stuff. It was an era of innocence, but it was also an era of of, of an awakening, of awakening. Of, of away from a life that was a little bit stagnant and a little bit stayed and just something just a little bit more exciting. Now, as I've said with a couple of bands before, particularly in the late 60s, Bill Haley was in the right place at the right time because not only did he usher in this new style of music because it was a new style well and truly, um, long gone were the big bands. We know the the trumpets and sax and clarinets and the very classy stuff. This was this had pure, was pure energy, and a fewer number of people on stage. And so you know, it was he was really in the right place at the right time, and and he ushered in a whole new sound. And there was just something quite cool about the energy that this created for the for the culture at the time. 
you know, you got up and danced because that's just what you did. You didn't sort of sit down and sort of think, oh, you know, will I, will I, or won't I? You just got up and did it. And, you know, there was no shortage of people dancing on the, sta the stage with you. And very much was just whatever happens, happens sort of thing. There was an innocence, a bit of casting, just throwing it all the wind and saying, oh, I don't care, I just want to have a good time right now. And I just wonder, when we look now where we are right now, compared to those, that I suppose, that, that era of awakening, we seem to be so far away from that now where everyone's a little bit more uptight about things and a bit cooler about things. Of course, bear in mind that people were cool back in those days. Don't get me wrong. you got to think about shows such as um, Saturday Night, well, actually not Saturday Night Fever, but certainly in the 50s, you know, Happy Days is a classic example of um, a series in the 50s. Just remember, remember Fonzie and the were, hey, cool and all that sort of stuff. But there was also some pretty core cool family value stuff going on at the same time, and that almost grounded Fonzie as well in that iconic series. But we've got a little bit uptight and a little bit, you know, everyone's kind of watching us these days. And, and if we do put something up, we've got to put it online as well, and we just don't get in the moment. I think one of the great things about the 50s, and again, I wasn't part of the 50s, was that we certainly people like Bill Haley in the comments, and obviously also Elvis Presley, People who just got carried away with this new thing and wanted to be like them. They wanted to forget life about about life for a while and just get carried away by the moment. And I'm thinking that's a bit of an art that we've lost, but just been carried away by the moment. We've got to be looking around us to see who's watching. And sometimes we just need to dance as if no one's watching. Because I must admit, I'm not much of a dancer. <laughs> I'd feel very, very very uncoordinated going up on a dance floor. But you know what? It shouldn't matter, really. I mean, if you want to get up and dance, just dance. Uh, because, you know, that's that's what dancing's all about. It's just getting carried away in the moment. And I think one of the things we probably the take away from Bill Haley in the comments today, first of all, thank goodness they did what, what they did because they changed music forever. And as I've said in the videos before, let's not be scared to be ourselves and to be a little bit quirky and a little bit unusual because the world needs that. And Bill Haley could have said, well, I haven't got an eye, so I'm just going to let that define me. No, he didn't do that. He actually said, oh, I'm going to change music forever. And he did that. That is for your for sure. And you, all you do is just look at the screaming fans and, and, the, and what was happening to realise the significance is made in the world of music. So that's the first thing. Be yourself because the world actually needs you as you are. And the second thing is let's not be so caught up with what people are thinking and people are saying. Let's just caught up in the moment and just dance as if our life depends on it. And this is certainly what was happening in the 1950s. And I think, you know, dance moves became pretty cool because people just did whatever. And I think um, there's something quite compelling about rock and roll for that reason. And because of that, music got changed forever. Obviously in the 70s we had disco and John Travolta and all of that. And, you know, people were still not scared to be themselves. So the encouragement today is let's be ourselves and let's not hold out on the world. So I trust that will be an encouragement for you today. Well, on to the clips. And we've got three live clips today all around that 1955 time. Of course, we've got to have Rock Around the Clock. This sold over a million copies, this particular single. And this song also was... Um, put into the Grammy Hall of Fame. So that one's there for you. We've also got another song around the time, Shake, Rattle and Roll, also from 1955. And there you get to see again, uh, this is a little bit later for Bill Haley. And it was a classic case of that he actually had a bit of a career until his death in 1981. And he was able to keep going through that whole time, bringing his brand of music to the world. And then we've also got See You Later, Alligator, also around that 1955 time. And again, you just, just could see how compelling Bill Haley was as a performer. But let's not underrate the comments behind him because without them, um, we wouldn't have had Bill Haley doing what he did. If you think back to Rock Around the Clock in particular, which is absolutely live, I'm thinking, how good is that guitar solo in the middle of that? It's so iconic, so intricate. And so well timed and well planned. It's just sort of one of the guitar sellers of all time, really, that one for, for as early as the 1950s. Of course, back around then, 
um, guitar solos weren't such a thing, but this is significant for that reason as well. So all of the uh, links to those three songs are in the description below. And I've also included my last video from Blondie. So if you want to recap on her and them, feel free. Well, that's it for today. Um, if you've come back for another one or this is your first time to Life Reflections Through Music, welcome to everyone. It's so great to see you all back again. And uh, really appreciating the engagement we're getting of late. Well, that's it for today. Next time, we're going to go on to reggae legend Bob Marley. So until then, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.